Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we are now in cancer season. So cancer, happy birthday. And these messages are going to be for cancer, sun, moon, or rising. Or if you have found yourself involved with a cancer. My twin flame, my husband is a cancer. I am so excited for cancer season. I feel like it's going to be really, really good, guys. I do feel like it's going to be a lot about spending time with your loved ones and time at home and really soaking up the love uh, that you feel for others. Um, I do feel like it's going to be a time to focus on your home and maybe doing some home improvements like I'm doing in my house, which is so interesting. And um, m maybe matters of the heart. I'm feeling like getting really to matters of the heart, being with those who are closest to us, uh, sort of having a calmer, more collective energy, maybe reflective, spending time with children or our children, uh, maybe the emotional uh, expression that we need to work on. So I thought, guys, I would pull some messages out and we'll talk about what to work on in cancer season, what to let go of possibly, uh, maybe what needs healing. Um, some love messages, some family messages, some work messages, employment messages, and uh, maybe some advice. So let's get right into this. And I got these beautiful uh, guardian angel reading cards I'm going to use. So guys, if you'd like to see any cancer type readings, any anything at all, anything you would like to see, just leave me a suggestion or a comment. I would love to hear from you. So what to work on. So I feel like working on clarity, okay? Definitely anything from the past or the present or even the future that we are unclear of to try to put some focus into that, to find um, some clarities and some things maybe that um, we've been putting off, okay? Or some things uh, that were a little painful maybe from the past or the present that we've been putting off, some things that we're confused about maybe, some things that you're feeling uh, need a resolution or resolving. Um, and you will be guided to do this, okay? When we're getting this angel of clarity, that's just a wonderful sign. It is a sign to sort of focus on those things that you're confused about, things that you feel like, you know, you just maybe need to bring things out in the open. Um, it could be with a family member or it could be um, with, you know, someone from the past. It could be uh, your, your, your um, I'm sorry, your partner. It could be with your twin. It could be any of those things that you feel like you need to um, start to resolve or get maybe a higher perspective on, okay? Um, you know, it's, it's not always possible to change the past. Um, but you know what? You can also get assistance from angels about the choices that are, you are considering to make also about your future, okay? Your angel of clarity won't interfere with your decisions, guys, but she will assist by giving you um, maybe some opportunities of seeing choices that you left maybe unhindered or um, some clarity maybe to decide on what's best or what's the best next move for you or how to deal with a situation. I would say pay attention to your visions, your dreams, your flashes, um, any daydreams that you're having, any songs, any synchronicities, anything at all that's maybe making you think for a minute. And just know guys that everyone has free will. So um, these messages are, are left up to you really to decide what you'll do. Um, but definitely, um, helping you make a, make decisions, okay? Um, and a good affirmation with this card is, you know, you possess the clarity to see, hear, and feel all aspects of life in a clear and pleasant uh, manner, okay? So if you just know that you um, ultimately have the power to find your own clarity and look within yourself and have assistance from angels that you will be able to um, move on from a situation or help yourself. I feel like getting clarity is what is needed here to help you move on or it's something you need to work on. Maybe being more clear with yourself, more clear with others. Okay, so that could be something that needs work. So what to let go of? Okay, so we're going to want to let go of any procrastination. And we know that this is really hard to do. How many of us procrastinate? I do it probably weekly. And I don't even think about it. I just sort of put it on the back burner. Certain things that I know I need to do. They could be major or minor. And I sometimes just get lost in day-to-day -day life. So I'll forget. So really, you have to focus... Um, sort of like 
focus again with the clarity, but you have the focus and clarity to get anything done, okay? So it's going to be about you just beginning, taking a step for yourself, okay? This could be with your health. It could be with a project that you're just sort of fearful to try to do, or maybe you want to start your own business, or you're thinking about leaving your job, or some things in your relationship that need fixing, and you're just sort of keep putting them off. Or maybe you're single, you know, and, and you're just not having that moxie to get out there and try to find uh, love again. Um, all those things we can procrastinate about. We can procrastinate about home projects and about, um, you know, things that we think we're going to have time for, okay? So it's just sort of like when you're getting like the angel here, it's not about judgment, okay? It's more about motivation to show you sort of ways to restore your natural state of peace. Because when we procrastinate, we're not making peace for ourselves. We're sort of making more um, discrepancies and more... Um, sometimes chaos because it's in the back of our mind that we have not completed this we have not even taken steps to do it it sort of like disrupts our peace so um it's really releasing any feelings you have about yourself or the situation that are negative or anything that you feel is fearful you know that holds you back it's sort of just saying that you know you need to just sort of put a little focus with um maybe meditating um, maybe trying to find a calm place to be maybe after work or, um, you know, on the weekend or just taking like an hour or even a half an hour to um, really sit quietly with yourself um, and figure out why you think you can't get something done or what you think is the obstacle that's in your way and try to uh, dissect it a bit. Um, really anything that you need to know with this card is just basically you are focused motivated and energetic and you have to utilize your time efficiently to reach your goals so don't be afraid don't be fearful um you know if you're lacking the energy to get things done um then it's definitely time to call upon this angel to help you um, you know, if you think like there's just something, anything that you are doubting or anything that, you know, you're, you're just not sure of or you're fearful to sort of reach out for that finish line, just know that, you know, we all go through that and the angel of procrastination is definitely here to help you and you can call upon that. So what to work on healing? This has to do with getting maybe just in a better regimen. A healthier mindset maybe getting a physical okay taking better care of yourself okay you may think that you're taking good care of yourself you're eating you're drinking water you're sleeping you're doing all these things but sometimes it's not enough okay or what we think is enough is never enough so this is talking about just getting maybe a physical um, maybe addressing an issue that you've had health wise it could be something minor it could be um, you know you have a skin problem or something wrong with your feet or um, you know you have dietary issues it's really just addressing these things and not being fearful to address them and not doing that self-neglect thing that cancers tend to do cancers tend to worry about everybody else around them and they just want to be fine and strong and right for everybody around them but they don't ever take that self-focus uh, for themselves and they don't like to hear or dwell on things okay so um, if they have a partner that's nagging them that's not gonna that's not gonna go over well with them um, or they have a parent that's doing that or even a child um, but you do have to think about the people around you that love you and care for you and um, they're saying it for your own good or, or they want you to just do something for you because you do everything for everybody else this is a good time to focus on your health and getting in a healthy mindset it could be dietary changes it could be a workout regimen it could be walking it could be getting out in nature it could be like I said just going simple 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 like go for a physical okay that's definitely something that could be. Um, it also deals with mental health. So if there's any mental health type issues that you're dealing with, maybe some sadness, depression, maybe some stuff from the past that's bothering you or eating you away, it's beneficial to go talk to somebody that can be helpful. Let's get some love messages. <clears throat> so this is a great angel of gratitude. This is really nice, guys, because this is just showing gratitude to the ones you love, okay? So your spouse, your family members, um, you know, your, your husband, your wife, um, you know, your children, everybody and anyone that's in your life that gives you good purpose and good meaning and sort of loves you abundantly. You're going to want to focus on these people and you're going to want to show some gratitude to them. If you feel like you have been, there's always 
is one little extra thing maybe you can say or do. And it also will make you feel good to see these people happy when you tell them how much you love them, when you tell them how much you appreciate them. It's good for you too, Cancer, because Cancers are not the most expressive um, people. When they are expressive, they're very romantic, very deep um, and sensitive and all those things and nurturing. But Cancer tends to hold on to things and tends to bottle things up. So um, anytime, you know, you feel like you could forgive someone, okay? Or you could just thank them for being a part of your life or thank them for helping you with your kids or your house or, or, or your job or whatever it is. It's gonna be a good time to show gratitude to your loved ones. And um, I, I, I promise you, it will help fill you up if you've been feeling empty at all, if you've been feeling sad at all. The, showing the gratitude will help fill you up. It'll help fill a void if you have a void for anything at all because then they're going to in turn tell you how grateful they are for you. So let's get some family messages. So angel of wisdom. So this could just simply have to do with wanting to learn more about each other. Um, maybe you take some time out to really get to know your partner, okay, if you're in a relationship or you're married. Um, take some time out every night and sort of like uh, quiz each other about your guy's life or um, tell each other something that you never told each other before. And you can do this with your kids. You can do this with your parents. I mean, you could do this with really anybody, but I feel like... Like it's going deeper to find out deeper things about your family or getting on a deeper level with them, okay, where you're understanding them more because they're telling you stuff and they're letting you in and you're relating, okay, so it's about being relatable and really allowing people to have you as sort of like the person to lean on, but in turn, you're acquiring wisdom not only about them, but about yourself because you can share things about yourself maybe that you were hiding or you didn't want to let out. Either way, it will make you dig deeper within yourself, okay? I also feel like it could be a good time to do some ancestry, like looking into your past uh, relatives or your ancestors. I feel like you should be honoring your ancestors too at this time. Like if you've ever been anyone that has passed on, you should maybe set up a little thing with a picture and a candle for them um, and, and really honor them. But I do feel like ancestry might be a thing. You might be thinking about doing ancestry DNA. You might have a child and you want your child to know this or pass it on to a child someday. Um, or you just might want to know for yourself. I do feel like that could be something interesting, could be a really good hobby for cancer. Cancer does like things about the past and and they like old things and antique type things. I feel like you could really um, get some good insights and good value out of that if you did that. So let's get some work messages. So Angel of Power, this is really fantastic, guys, because you just have to know that no matter what you're going through at your current job or in a career transition even, you have the power to make absolutely anything that you want happen. You are a manifester, okay? So if you're worried about work, like maybe somebody's leaving this job that you're at and you're scared what's going to happen, you absolutely have the power within your own self and your own skills to thrive, okay? That goes for anybody who's looking for work or out of work or in between jobs or things about leaving their job you have the skill set you have the power to do whatever it is you need to do for yourself and I feel like others know this when you feel down and you feel scared call upon your angel of power and they will give you that little extra oomph okay they'll send you some type of a sign or they'll make you feel something um, about yourself that maybe you have been lacking or not feeling for a really long time okay so let's get a final card for advice so we're getting angel of grounding. Now this is something really, really um, important to do guys. To learn about grounding, centering, and protecting, there's lots of different videos. I could throw some up in the description box or I could just do a video about it, but really getting focused on your inner chi, like focusing yourself, your center, finding your center, grounding yourself um, to mother earth, um, you know, feeling uh, uh, the, 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 the light, the white light of protection around you and sort of coming up with your own ideas to shield yourself. This should be done daily or twice a day. Very, very important. Cancers are empathetic. They have natural empathy, so they could definitely soak up and absorb the emotions of others. Okay. So you're going to want to learn to do this grounding and protecting. This is just a message from spirit. That's something that would be helpful for you at work, at home, in your relationships in your interpersonal relationships, all those things. When you go to the store, you're going to want to do this before you 
you go in the store, okay, so you don't get drained. Very, very helpful tool if you learn to do this. I think I'm going to do a video about it, guys, so watch out for the video. And um, I can um, try to put some information in the description box. So, guys, that's going to do it for today. Happy Cancer Season. Looking forward to serving all of you in the future of Cancer Season. And check out all my videos that are up and coming. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker.